Welcome to video 9 in the IBM Maximo Application Suite, Maximo Manage Technical Snippets brought to you by Starboard Consulting. In this video 9, we're going to take a look at reports. Let's run them a couple of different ways and see some of the new features. So first you'll notice as I've signed into the application suite, I have a portlet here set up for my favorite reports. I can access any one of these and let me pick inventory balance and it brings up our request page, a request page that we're all familiar with. And I can come in here and put in 560.00. Let's just go ahead and select central for a storeroom and just showing you different ways that you can access the information. Select the lookup and that's populated with Bedford. Now as we scroll down here again, I can collapse these sections if I want. But maybe I don't want to run this report immediately. Maybe I want to schedule it. I can expand the section here and here's all my schedule options. And the same is true for my email. But let's look down here at schedule format options. This is super interesting. When I open this up, a couple of things are um, happening or displayed here. First, the file delivery format. This is my default option. My default option is saying that that report is going to be attached as a file when that report is scheduled and emailed. If I select the lookup, I can see that I could also, if it's very large, not have an attachment, but in instead send it as a URL, which is going to send it to the report viewer application. So that's kind of neat the way the, the default options are showing here. And the same is true with the file type. The default is PDF. I can come over here and if I wanted it in XLS or XLS other, I could go ahead and select that. But in my case, I'm going to leave all those alone. I'm not going to um, put those um, options in place, I should say, and I'm going to run it immediately and simply select submit. So when I do that, what happens is the report displays in a separate browser. It looks very, very similar to what we have seen in the Maximo 7 and 7.6 releases. But now let's just take a look in running a report within an application. In this case, I'm going to look at my left-hand side and select a uh, query. Let's take Bedford Open Work. Let me close that dialog so I can focus here on my screen. You can see that I have 20 work orders. Well, many people love that one-click option. Take that record set that you have in the application and push it over to a report known as Launch in Context. And you can see that that feature and functionality is still over here. I have the browser view, which opens it up immediately in the browser in a list format or if I wanted to print an individual record or set of records with their attachments, that's also available. But let's simply do the browser view. Let's take that 12 set of records that we had. Oops, sorry about that. It's not 12, it's actually 20. Okay, take those 20 set of records that we have, launch those over to the BERT reviewer, and you can see those 20 records are displayed right here. And if you wanted to drill into the details, you could select that record from the hyperlink and it displays. So reporting is very, very similar to what we've seen before in previous Maximo releases. Thank you very much for your time.